Welcome, thank you so much for being here. My name is Stephanie Feller, or my kundalini name is Akasha Kirtikar. And today I'll be teaching a kundalini yoga class. The focus for today will be on opening up our hearts. So this idea of compassion and connection with one another. For your props today, uh, it'd be helpful to have a blanket. You don't need to set it out underneath you, but in a little while when we do our shavasana and gong, it will be helpful to cover up with that. If you have a bolster to sit on or some sort of a meditation cushion or pillow, that will help you sit up straight for and make it easier. And then it may be helpful to have some Kleenex just kind of nearby for the breath work that we're going to be doing. So we'll go ahead and get started. I'll just give you a brief introduction about what Kundalini Yoga is. Then we will move into a short warm up followed by our Kriya, which is our set of exercises today. After the Kriya, you'll move into Shavasana and I will do a gong bath while you're there. And then we'll do a short and 11 minute meditation at the end of the practice. So that's the plan for today. Um, Kundalini yoga is this beautiful, unique yoga practice. It's really ancient. It's thought to be the oldest form of yoga. And it incorporates all what we call limbs, all these different pieces of what makes yoga, yoga. So it has the stretching and the movement. It also has meditation and focus and breath work. And it makes a really well-rounded and beautiful practice. Kundalini yoga also does a few things that other practices don't. Some of the uh, things that we do may look a little bit unfamiliar. We also use a lot of mantra and chanting. We'll talk more about the purpose of those as we move into the practice itself. So to open a Kundalini yoga class, we start with tuning in. And the tune in mantra is just right up here. It's Ong Namo Gurudev Namo. And it means I bow to my inner wisdom. So we start every Kundalini class by acknowledging that we have this inner wisdom and tapping into that to set the stage. So please begin by finding a nice tall seat, maybe sitting up on that cushion or bolster if you have it, rubbing your hands together, and then placing your hands at the palm of your heart. So really press the palms into one another, press your thumbs into your sternum and lift your chest, let your shoulders drop. Maybe let your eyes close or find a soft gaze. And then taking just a moment to notice how you're feeling, what you're thinking about, and how your breath is moving. Then we'll move into our mantra. We'll chant the mantra three times. Inhale. Om. for just a moment and just connecting with your intention for being here rather your broader intention for your life what do you want what do you need and then since we're talking about and doing yoga for compassion today Taking just a moment to notice your heart center. So maybe folding your hands, 
one on top of another at your heart. You can stay in prayer pose. And just notice the way that your heart is feeling. With total acceptance. Is it feeling open and expansive? Is it feeling closed or restricted? Is it calm? Is it loving? Is it scared? Is it walled? Just observing what's there. And continuing to focus there for just a moment while I explain our theme a little bit more. So these practices that we'll do today help us to develop sensitivity and help us to drop defensiveness. They help us to feel more calm and to be more present. And it seems kind of counterintuitive, but opening our heart is something that helps gives us strength. So when we have this open heart, we can go through pain and suffering, but we don't feel it as deeply or is in the same way. It creates a resilience. So maybe one more breath with your hands at your heart. And then releasing your hands. Go ahead and come to a standing position for a little bit of warm up. This is just a small flow. Kundalini doesn't use flow very often, but it does in some cases. So here, just step your right leg back as you open up your arms. On the inhale, on the exhale, you'll draw that right leg forward. Bring it up, hands come into prayer pose. And then you'll move into warrior pose. I'm gonna turn this way so you can see me. For warrior, that right leg will step forward, the left leg is back. And this is our version of warrior in Kundalini. It's called archer pose. Back arm is lifted up, looking out over the thumb, and then stepping the right leg back and your hands are just cupped in front of you. So we'll do that again, this time using the left leg. So inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Go ahead and start moving at your own pace and with your own breath. Opening, bowing into prayer, Archer and a gesture of receiving. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Keep going. Keep moving as I talk to you for a moment. So you may find one of these positions feels more comfortable than another. Maybe you feel comfortable in the strong, being a strong warrior. Maybe you feel more comfortable receiving. Maybe you feel more comfortable opening. Just kind of observe the way that your body feels in each of these poses. And how can you pull compassion into this moment? So how can you move your body with compassion for yourself? Ahead and finish the round here on. And then just stand for a moment with your hands cupped, eyes closed, or with a soft gaze. And 
release your hands, let your eyes open. So beginning now our Kriya, or a set of exercises to accomplish a specific purpose. For this first one, we'll be doing something called Breath of Fire. Breath of Fire is rapid inhales and exhales through the nose that are of equal length. And those inhales and exhales are powered by the belly. So as you inhale, your belly comes out. As you exhale, your belly comes in. You can even put a hand here. Okay, so for this first part, we'll stand in prayer, prayer pose. Make your feet equally rooted into the ground and dynamic. Press your palms into one another, lift your sternum. And then your eyes can be looking down at the tip of your nose, or I like to move mine up to the space in between my eyebrows and begin breath of fire. Keep going. Keep going, we'll be here for a couple more minutes. If you ever feel like a little bit dizzy, feel free to slow the breath down, do some deep breaths. Breath of fire is really powerful for clearing toxins out of our body and our lungs and increasing the capacity of our lungs. It's also really good for your immune system. Just keep breathing. And a lot of times in Kundalini Yoga, we have a mental mantra of Sat Nam. Sat Nam means truth is my identity. I am truth. So one thing you can do as you continue to breathe is mentally just thinking Sat Nam, Sat Nam, Sat Nam. About one more minute here. Inhale, suspend your breath, squeeze your root lock. That's pelvic floor, sex organs, anus, navel. Exhale, release. Spending just a moment noticing the way that each of these different positions make you feel. Still standing for this next part and beginning to do some punching. So making a fist and you'll punch just straight forward. So there's no turning, there's no twisting of your body or of your arms, just straight forward and straight back. And as you punch forward, you'll exhale. As you come in, you'll inhale. So this almost becomes like a breath of fire as you do this rapidly. So keep going. 
And with all exercises in kundalini yoga, we often close our eyes so that we can have an internal experience. So if you'd like to, you're always welcome to close your eyes and just be present with the sensation. Keep going. So when we're talking about opening up our heart, we work on our arms a lot. And the reason that we do that is because our heart meridian, or this line of energy that's connected to our heart, the heart meridian runs along the inside of the arm, curls around through the chest. So all of these things that we're doing are helping to open up your heart. Got about two more minutes here. Keep going. Rest if you need to. Feel free to take care of yourself. You can always imagine yourself doing the posture. Let there be energy in this. It can also be a nice way to release some frustration. Can you hear yourself breathing? Powerful breath. Last 30 seconds. Inhale, pull both of your elbows back. Tighten your fists, hold the breath. Exhale, release. Good. Stay standing, but just close your eyes for a moment and notice the way that you feel. Notice any subtle shifts. standing exercise here. These are big arm circles. So you'll inhale as the arms come up, exhale as they come around and down. Big arm circles. Go ahead and begin. Keep going. you imagine that you're clearing all of the space around you as you make these big arm circles. Clearing a beautiful, safe space. Being able to do things like this is not really muscular, this is your nervous system. So if you find yourself fatigued and need to rest, feel free, imagine yourself doing the posture. And know that the more that you do these kinds of exercises, the more that your nervous system itself will be toned.
maybe thinking Satnam. Inhale, both arms straight up. Suspend the breath. Exhale, release. This time, come down to a seated position and then take a moment to notice how you feel from this position. Interlacing your fingers, thumb tips will touch. You'll inhale as you bring those hands up to throat level. Exhale as you bring them down to your navel. So it's a pumping motion. Go ahead and begin. Again, maybe your eyes are closed. Maybe they're moving up to that space between your eyebrows. We do that a lot because it puts a little bit of pressure on your optic nerve, which helps to stimulate your pituitary gland, that master gland in your body. Make sure you're sitting up straight and tall. Powerful breath. for a couple more minutes. Keep a nice rhythm. Sat na, sat na, sat na, sat na. Can you imagine that you're just pumping energy, moving energy up the spine? Let all of that movement of energy and that breath serve to clear your body, clear your space, clear the energy of your heart. Last 30 seconds. Keep the energy up for the last little bit here. Inhale, hold it at your heart level, hold the breath, squeeze your root lock. Exhale, release, and just notice how you feel.
Okay. Now staying seated, once again, I'm just sitting on my cushion. I've walked myself forward a little bit on that so that my pelvis is tilted so that it's easy to sit up tall. Feel free to shake out your legs too at any point if you need to. For this next part, you'll put your hands up by your shoulders, your palms face forward. This one has a mantra that's here, Satanama. Satanama. These sounds are talking about the whole life cycle, the whole cycle of life. Life, death, rebirth, and infinity. It's also a longer version of Satnam, that truth is my identity. So for this one, your hands will move. You'll touch on Sa, your index finger and thumb on both hands will touch. Na, middle finger and thumb. Sa, Ta, sorry, Ta, Na, and then Ma. So you're touching each with each syllable. Sa, ta, na, ma. Sa, ta, na, ma. Your eyes will be looking down. So your eyes are just a little bit open at the bottom. Your head does not come down. Your head and chin stay level. Your chin is slightly tucked in. But just your eyes look down at your lap. So we do a lot of, like I said at the beginning, we do a lot of chanting and kundalini yoga. It really helps to raise your energy and clear what's in your mind and even clear your subconscious mind. That's what the yogis teach us. So let's go ahead and begin here. Sa, ta, na, ma. And actually just do this mentally. I'll say it out loud so that you can get the hang of it, but you're just doing this in your head. Sa, ta, na, ma. Sa, ta, na, ma. Looking down. Sa, ta, na, ma. Sa, ta, na, ma. Sa, ta, na, ma. Keep going. Mentally thinking. Sa, ta, na, ma. Powerful mantra for change. Little bit of pressure at the fingertips. Focus.
Inhale. Suspend your breath. Squeeze your root lock. Exhale, release. Notice how you feel. Once again, if you need to shake out your legs, you can do that. I'll have one more seated posture here. So for this one, you'll take your right hand and block your right nostril. And inhale through the left nostril. Exhale through rounded lips. So. If you'd like to take your left hand and extend it out into Gyan Mudra, where first finger and thumb touch, you can do that. Keep going. Lips are almost puckered here. Inhales and exhales are equal length. Keep going. So when we breathe through our left nostril, we're activating what's called the ida. We have these two main channels, the ida and the pingala. And the ida, through that left nostril, is connected to the right hemisphere of your brain. So when we do left nostril breathing, it's, we're tapping into that moon energy. It's that calm, cool energy. And the reason our lips are puckered Part of the reason is that it activates what's called our vagus nerve, this long nerve. The name vagus actually means wandering. It's this nerve that goes all the way from your brain stem down into your intestines and through all of these major organs, including your heart. And they've done scientific studies, and if you have a well sort of tuned vagus nerve, it increases your feelings of compassion and altruism. Another minute or so of breath here. Now release the hand, keep the eyes closed, and just natural breathing here for a couple of minutes. Your hands can be folded in your lap, thumbs, tips touching, or you can have both arms extended into Gyan Mudra. Just natural breath. Be a witness to what's happening in your body and your mind.
Inhale. Exhale. Now come lying on your back for Shavasana. So lie all the way down. Let your arms come out to the side with your palms facing up toward the ceiling. And then pull something over your body. So you can pull your cushion or your bolster over your stomach and chest, or you can place a blanket over you. Let your feet just fall open. Let your eyes close. And in Kundalini Yoga, we play the gong during this relaxation. The gong is a powerful tool in clearing your subconscious mind. So just let yourself relax. You can even sleep. If at any point it becomes intense for you, just breathe through that and do your best to relax.
Begin to deepen your breath. As you inhale, imagine that heart center open wide, receiving all that's good and beautiful. Beginning to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Start to circle your hands on your wrists and your feet on your ankles. Inhale as you stretch your arms up overhead. And then opening your arms out to the sides, drawing one knee in and across your chest for a little twist and then the other. Rub the palms of your hands and the soles of your feet together. Grasp the front of your shins and rock and roll a few times on your spine and then come back to a seated position. And once again, find yourself in a nice seat where you can have that tall posture. We'll close with an 11 minute meditation here. This meditation is called Meditation to Arouse Mercy and Compassion. So just like our Kriya to open our heart center, this helps um, arouse those feelings of compassion. Helps us to remove cynicism, bitterness, feeling shut down and really open up to all that connection and all that love that's available. So for this one, we'll use the same mantra, Satanama, the same mental mantra. Our hands for this one, your pinky finger, ring finger, and middle finger will be back to back against one another. Your index fingers will cross and your thumbs are just sticking up. So once again, these three fingers are back to back, index fingers are crossed, thumbs are sticking out, and you'll rest this here by your heart. Your elbows can just be down by your side, sternum is lifted. The breath pattern is inhaling in four sniffs. And as you do, thinking sa, ta, na, ma. So inhale in four, then you'll hold for four while you think sa, ta, na, ma. Exhale in four sniffs, sa, ta, na, ma. And hold empty for four, sa, ta, na, ma. So each time you're thinking sa, ta, na, ma, and those, those sniffs are distinct and separate. Your eyes here can be optionally closed and up at the third eye once again. So let's go ahead and begin. So inhaling in four segments. Hold for four. Exhale in four. Hold for four. Inhale four. Sa, ta, na, ma. Hold. Sa, ta, na, ma. Exhale. Sa, ta, na, ma. Ma, hold, sa, ta, na, ma. Keep going. And depending on your breath capacity here, you can begin to extend this to eight if you'd like. Eight sniffs in, eight held, eight sniffs out, eight held even 12.
keep going. Imagine a whole chorus of people, a whole room full of people inhaling and exhaling with you. Feel their presence. Stay connected to the mantra. Stay focused. Gonna end just a little early. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Now inhale and shake. Arms up overhead. Exhale, notice how you feel. We close a Kundalini class with a song. And the words are here. May the long time sun shine upon you. All love surround you and the pure light within you guide your way on. We'll sing that song three times. The first time, imagine singing it to yourself, especially to your heart. The second time, you can imagine singing it to someone that you know who is suffering. And the third time, we can imagine singing it to the whole world. So rub your hands together, place your hands at your heart, sit up tall. Imagine mentally holding hands, or I like to imagine red thread connecting my heart to all of the other hearts of the people that are doing this class or this work. Feel that connection, feel that open heartedness. And inhale to sing. 
May the long time sun shine upon you. All love surround you. And the pure light within you guide your way on. May shine upon you. All love surround you, and the pure light within you guide your way on. May the long time sun shine upon you. All love surround you, and the pure light within you guide your way on, guide your way on. One long sat and then a short nom. Sat Nam. May you move throughout your life full of compassion, with your heart wide open, courageously so, and feel deeply connected to everyone else who is here on this same journey. Sat Nam.